Welcome back friends to your Tech Handy channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to timely get new video updates. Everyone knows that Linux powers millions of servers and desktops worldwide. A Linux command is a program or utility that runs on the command line. A command line is an interface that accepts lines of text and processes them into instructions for your computer. Any graphical user interface is just an abstraction of command line programs. For example, when you close a window by clicking on the X, there's a command running behind that action. In this video, I will focus on the small core commands that you will use the 80% or 90% of the time, trying to simplify the usage of the more complex ones. All these commands work on Linux, Mac OS, and anywhere you have a Unix environment. I hope the contents of this video will help you achieve what you want. So let's get comfortable with Linux. The first command I want to introduce is a command that will help you understand all the other commands. Every time I don't know how to use a command, I type in command to get the manual. The above screen is just one of 14 screens of explanation for the ls command. Ment pages are an essential tool to learn, as a developer. They contain so much information that sometimes it's almost too much. Next, I want to introduce the help command, which is similar to the men command but with fewer detail. The help command is a shell built-in internal command. It accepts a text string as the command line argument and searches the supplied string in the shell's documents. If the supplied string matches with an internal command, the help command picks the available information about the command from the shell's document and displays that information on the terminal. The fastest way to clear the terminal screen in Linux is with the clear command. The clear command is the go-to tool for clearing the terminal screen in Linux. Inside a folder you can list all the files that the folder contains using the ls command. As you can see it gives us same directory's details as we see in graphical interface. If you add a folder name or path, it will print that folder contents. LS accepts a lot of options. One of my favorite options combinations is AL compared to the plain LS, this returns much more information. You have, from left to right, the file permissions, the number of links to that file, the owner of the file, the group of the file, the file size in bytes, the file modified date time, and the file name. This set of data is generated by the L option. The A option instead also shows the hidden files. Hidden files are files that start with a dot. If you add H option, it will give you a more human readable file size format. If you want to move to different folder, you can move into it using the cd command. cd means change directory. You invoke it specifying a folder to move into. You can specify a folder name or an entire path. Now you are into the desktop folder. You can use the cd. to go back to last directory.
To go to root directory, type in cd and then forward slash. Forward slash will takes you to root directory. You can also use absolute paths, which start from the root folder. Whenever you feel lost in the file system, call the PWD command to know where you are. PWD stands for Print Working Directory and it will print the current folder path for you. You can create folders using the mkdir command. Or you can also create multiple nested folders by adding the P option. Make sure, do not to add space in the folder name, or it will create a folder with the first half of the name. Just as you can create a folder using MKDIR, you can delete a folder using RMDIR. The folder you delete must be empty. To delete folders with files in them, we'll use the more generic RM command which deletes files and folders, using the RF options. Be careful as this command does not ask for confirmation and it will immediately remove anything you ask it to remove. There is no bin when removing files from the command line, and recovering lost files can be hard. You can create an empty file using the touch command. If the file already exists, it opens the file in write mode, and the timestamp of the file is updated. You can use same rm command to remove file. Once you have a file, you can move it around using the mv command. Specify the file current path, and its new path. You can also create multiple files with one command.
To get pro with commands, try them in command to get details about each command and try explore it running with multiple options. Thank you for your time and watching the video. I hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe to support us.